Hello, and welcome to the recital. You just heard the anthem, Lift Every Voice and Sing, beautifully arranged by conductor and violinist Kyle Dixon. This song is near and dear to my heart because it speaks of fully rejoicing despite the adversities and tribulations of the past and the present. The poem written by James Weldon Johnson invokes a sense of unity and hope for a greater future. As the anthem says, let us march on till victory is won. The next piece I'm gonna perform for you is titled Upon Meeting Erlen Wallen by Ahmed Alabaka. Ahmed is an amazing composer and conductor. He's a dear friend of mine. Um, he scored music for several web series, TV shows, and short films. His works have been commissioned by numerous orchestras and ensembles across the U.S. He wrote this piece after meeting composer Erlen Wallen. It's a little bit about Erlen Wallen. She was born in Belize, later relocating to the UK and is known as a Renaissance woman of contemporary British music. She's composed music for a variety of ensembles, lots of vocal and piano music, operas. Her works have been commissioned by music institutions from the BBC to the Royal Opera House. She was also awarded an MBE, member of the Order of the British Empire from the Queen of England. Um, there are three movements in this piece. So the first movement is Welcome. The second movement is titled Sweets. And the third movement is titled Genius Woman. I hope you enjoy this piece upon meeting Erilyn Wallen.
The next piece I'm going to perform for you is titled Good to You by composer Marcus Norris. Marcus is a good friend of mine and an excellent composer based in Los Angeles. He's currently getting his PhD from UCLA. Um, his works have been performed, commissioned, and recorded both nationally and internationally. He also is the founder of the Southside Symphony, where he writes cool music for the ensemble and hosts collaborations with different artists. So here are some words from Marcus about the piece Good To You. Good To You is somewhere in between I promise to be good to you, have I not been good to you, and was it good to you? Marcus wanted to make the performance feel as if the audience is hearing the soloist's inner monologue spilling out. The music is like replaying fragments of past conversations, contemplating things you've said, things you should have said, and the right ways to say them when you get the chance. The tone ranges from sweetly soft to passionately loud, but it's always with love. This is Good To You by Marcus Norris.
The next piece that I'm going to perform for you is the Louisiana Blues Strut, a cakewalk by Coleridge Taylor Perkinson. Coleridge Taylor Perkinson was a prolific Black composer, conductor, and pianist. He co-founded the Symphony of the New World, which was the first racially integrated orchestra in the U.S. He was well-versed in Western classical music, but he also wrote jazz and popular music. He wrote film scores for many movies in the 70s. Um, he was music director for Jerome Robbins' American Theater Lab and the Alvin Ailey American Dance Theater, for which he composed a ballet honoring the music of Charlie Parker. He was coordinator of performance activities at the Center for Black Music Research here in Chicago, and also the conductor and music director of the New Black Music Repertory Ensemble from 1998 until he passed in 2004. I hope you enjoy the Louisiana Blues Strut, a cakewalk by Coleridge Taylor Perkinson. Thank you. 
The next piece you'll be hearing is titled, A Mother's Cry. For all mothers who have lost a child to gun violence, especially Nanan Sisse. This is by composer Delshawn Taylor. Delshawn is an award-winning baritone, composer, pianist, educator, author, and arts equity advocate. Here are some words from Delshawn about his piece. George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, Elijah McClain, Ahmaud Arbery, Muhammad Sisse, Andre Hill, Botham Shimjan, Casey Goodson Jr. Let us not empower police brutality in 2021, but pass policies that prosecute injustice, eliminate the need for protests, allow black people to exist in peace, and stop forcing Black mothers to live out their worst fears. This is a mother's cry. piece I'll be performing for you this afternoon is Theme and Variations for Solo Violin by composer Brian Raphael Neighbors. Brian is an incredible composer hailing from my hometown, Birmingham, Alabama. I actually met Brian during my junior year of high school where we both performed at an awards banquet. 
Um, Brian has gone on to become a well-established composer and his music is being performed everywhere by major symphony orchestras and organizations. With an eclectic musical palette and crafty compositional technique to match, Brian's music draws from cap combinations of jazz, funk, R&B, gospel, and with the modern flair of contemporary classical music. This interesting blend of sound worlds is one that continues to craft his unique musical voice. So here's his piece, Theme and Variations for Solo Violin. There, so you'll hear a theme first, right? And then you'll hear nine variations on that theme. So as you listen to the music, try to listen out for similar melodies that you hear in the different themes and how that melody evolves as the piece goes on. So I hope you enjoy and thanks for watching.